Hello, it's Friday tea time, and I tried to have some music bot, but uh, it's broken itself permanently again, which means I'm going to have to delete all of its files and reinstall it, and uh, I don't have time to do that today. I do have time to adjust my camera, because it's at a weird angle. There we go. So, oh, and my mug's too hot to hold. What an awkward start to the day. Just move my mug on screen here. Make some, make some tea. How's everybody doing? It's Friday. The second camera there, where pointed a little low. Um, so, chat, officially, uh, the POTU has been approved. I got an email. So, uh, if you can't unlock it, that means that it's because it's a tier two thing. But, it it's approved, it's official. It's there, one way or another, to prove it before my hands are covered in clay. I will. Put it into the chat. Um, so that that exists. And uh, here's a fun fact. I'm looking at it, and I'm pretty sure that that's the middle one, not the tiny one we made. Which means that I'm pretty sure that the sheep guana is also a shrunk down version of the 56 pixel one, which makes me think that the tiny one is literally just for the selection screen. I'm gonna look now. No? No? Well, I tell you what. Let's... Let's just, I'll give you guys a flirty, a flirty pride po too, and then we'll move on. Um, so now I don't know where the tiny, where the tiny, this, th because the po too is, is noticeably different between the 56 pixel and the 24 pixel. The, the, um, the 24 pixel, or the, tw yeah, the 20, 23 pixel, uh, the 26, the tiny one, is, uh, is drawn separately whereas I just shrank the painting for the other two and that's definitely the, sh the shrunk painting because as you can see it's got the little feather fluff details that um, that I didn't do in the very tiny one so this brings up a whole host of questions the main one to me being why do you need a tiny one if you're just gonna shrink down the 56 by 56 pixel one but uh, oh yeah, flirty. The the fan placement on the Potu is solid. That's 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 one flirty flirty fan there. So that's a totally off-topic adventure for anyone who's uh, watching this later. Sorry, you can't see chat. Um, we're talking about chat emotes. Let's uh, so let's get back to the pottery. Um, here is the problem. When I say problem solving. I, did I change the title of the stream, by the way, or did I forget? And do I care enough to look? Eh, I guess I'll find out later when I'm editing them. So, uh, it was really hot for the last two days here, like in the mid-80s. And hot and dry means that pre-building still says Monday workday. Oh, well. Um, maybe one day I'll switch to a, a, a OBS host that will let me change the name from where I'm streaming instead of going to the Twitch page changing it which they've made it harder to find still says unicorns we could do unicorns let's I said I didn't care but now I now I clearly do now I clearly do care enough to go and change it is there a 
Is there a dock in OBS? See, I'm, I'm on a Mac, so OBS does not have the same exciting functionality that, uh, that it would have um, if I were on a PC. Let's just, let's just not, let's. Well, let's just make it, let's just make it clickbait. <laughs> there we go. Now, oh, now I have to close the window or everything will crash. <laughs> I have learned. Good, did we overclock anything? No? Looks like it's still okay. Hooray! So. Um, as I was saying, it's been really hot and dry, which means I could not do any prep work for today because it was just too likely to get too dry overnight, even wrapped in plastic. Um, it just, if it's, if it's that hot, it dries too fast. It even dries too, like it dries all really fast while you're working. That kind of weather is very bad for slab work. Anyway, today it's like in the mid sixties. For some reason <laughs> and it's fine um, but that means that also my plan of I'll just slab build quickly at the beginning of stream and then have the base that will already be kind of dry because it's hot will also not work so the question is what do we do while we consider that I'll just put I'll put dry Bone, I'll put bone. No, don't fall forward. Do I need to sand your, your little bottom? To try and. Oh no, there's just a bump there. Um, previous, previous, point, previous pot right here. Um, so, so thoughts. I could start the base of the frog box, do um, some slab building on the fly because I didn't make a pattern. So, cut some slabs, make kind of one of those conical bases <laughs> and uh, and see how that goes or we could just do something else y'all could pick something for me to make and I could attempt to make it so I'm gonna kind of uh, get some feedback from you guys for that since it's your stream to watch and I know that Slab building can be a little boring. <laughs> it involves a lot of work with a rolling pin and a ruler. So I do not blame you if you're like, no slab building. Instead, let's make something else. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to make you. It's This is now an improv show, Chad. I'm afraid I need... I need some suggestions from the audience. Um, or, or I can just move ahead with the slab stuff. If if y'all if y'all don't want to think, um, I can do I can do the thing. It's it's fine. You can you can choose to not wish to think. That's an acceptable position to take. I actually discussed making unicorns the other day. Um, unicorns are hard because they have all the spindly bits, especially horns, which are so likely to break. Um, but we could make a fairly simple one, maybe in the vein of the votive cows, a little bit more complicated. Um. Oh, a, a rat, a rat for my friend. Oh, that's actually a cute idea. Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do that. A Shetland pony unicorn. Okay, so we've got a fat unicorn and, and, a, and a rat and a rat for a friend of mine. Um, who was supposed to get a whole thing from me and then everything closed. <laughs> um. And also slab building is fine. Um, 
Also, hello. Betchy Becky Bach. Um, oh, and hello, Auntie Shepherd, who has oxen. Right, I've wedged that clay sufficiently. That bit's too dry, that bit's too dry. Ah. Grab some of this one. There, that's, that's what we'll start with here. Well, I mean, we sort of, we sort of made, we sort of made a multiple pottery ox. I mean, there's a whole row of votive cows right across the plate, there, right across the way. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm just going to drag things around with oxen. Says Shep. Now I'm just gonna well with the camera, I apologize. As I said, there was no pre prep for this. So here are the votes rat, Shetland pony unicorn, and and ox. How are anybody anybody have additional feelings votes? I noticed a lot of people shouted oxen, but I feel like that might have just been in response to the fact that now Shep has them. So. So it could go any way. Still, still being kind to myself and not using the buff with sand. Because, you know, because I don't like it. Now that I've seen it bisque fried, I like it even less. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> the oxen was just the adjusted response instead of quail there. Yeah, that seems fair. Okay. All options good. Well, let's see, let's see where we get. Let's, we've got three, we've got three lumps of, of varying sizes of clay. Which I am kind of trying to keep damp here. I've sculpt a realistic, no. No, I will not sculpt a realistic border collie. You can't make me. I made you a very nice votive dog. <laughs> ah, just gonna make that hilariously to what for a minute. Because this clay is very stiff. Put that there. Weirdly, this clay is not very stiff. This tiny piece, much softer. Yeah, the the buff the buff with sand works really well for the little votive sculptures. It just it's more prone to cracking when it's fired, and it's a little weird. I don't just it has a it, mm, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Not a fan. I understand. I understand that, that that's unfair of me, but what can you do? So I think that what we'll do for a little start here is warm up with a, with a small little rat. Just do just do a little a little quick rat as like a a starting point. Um, 
something sort of simple and very small. See if we can do it with all with this piece of clay. At sort of quail speed, if you will. And then, and then we will move on. I'm just going to form a little, a little sponge fort around this clay. Form a little tower there. And then once we've, once we've kind of, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to take a little bit off for years later. Once we've kind of done something like that, then we'll figure out some, uh, some how to make, how to make legged animals that look more realistic that aren't going to just really super brick on the way to the kiln. Because you remember, I have to take this to a place. This isn't just, this doesn't just have to survive my house has to survive a road trip. A road trip in a car. And uh, I'll be honest, three, three pieces that have been bisque fired broke in small ways in the car on the way and were repaired on the fly there with, with a thing called bisque fix. <laughs> so, you know, it's a, it's a genuine concern. Um, fit just little, it's little fragile things like fins, um, things that are, that are thin and fragile. Um, I was impressed that all the, the horns of the cattle made it. Things that are small and th thin and fragile are very, very breakable when it's, um, bone dry, unfired clay. I used to take things, or at least I used to try to take things that I made at home to the studio when they were still leather hard, still pretty damp, because they're more resilient. But now, uh, that's not a thing. So, instead, you work with what you got. All right trying to do this all in one most most in one tails tails are not not great for so far what I have is a is a capybara <laughs> so Oh now, I, now I'm now goddess figure is goodness. So it's gotten very complicated, hasn't it? Oh, uh, let's. Let's try to remember what rodents look like. Reference free sculpture. No idea. Should probably look some stuff up. I know that rat bodies are shaped like little beans. Little tea, tea is no longer too hot to touch. Today I am drinking out of one of my own mugs. It is an owl. It is the uh, the I made I made four um, to get a working set for a trade with another potter, and this is one of the failures. It has, if you can see, uh, a large repaired crack down the side, and because I repaired it and didn't put slip over it, the colors don't match, and the glaze looks different over top of it, and it's all very odd. So it's mine now. Do I sculpt plants? I have I've I've been I have a plan, Unicorn Duke. 
Um, Unicorn Duke asked, do I sculpt plants? I know thin things are difficult. Yes, um, I've done, if you look on my, my website shop, plug, <laughs> I have a shop. Um, if you look on my shop, there is a mug. And on that mug is a flower. And that flower broke more than once just between me putting it in the kiln. Um, that flower was repaired a number of times. So yeah, I've made plants, and yeah, they have a real problem. Uh, I stuck it to a mug, which helped. Um, but I have been wanting to do, I've reached, I've reached the limit of my information. I need a, I need a photo. Um, I have been wanting to do um, a teapot with a succulent garden on top, like a teapot that's like, um, like a flower pot. And then, uh, and then like a succulent garden on top for the lid that you can take off. Okay, there we go. That's a good one. That's a, a pretty, pretty clear little guy. Definitely a little guy. I'll just put my phone back here by the water. What could possibly go wrong? I I can't imagine can't imagine what the problem could be. I'm sure that everything will be absolutely fine. Yeah. Am I Yeah, I'm pretty much in focus. I am covered in clay. <laughs> Covered in clay and water. I don't want to touch my nice laptop. Um, yeah, passion. So the passion flower mug is a thing I made because I had a blank mug that I had thrown, and I was doing right after I'd done some snake stuff, and I was had some time left on stream, and I asked chat to tell me what the to give me a complicated flower, and uh, and Maud Hannah googled. Uh, most complicated flower and got passion flower so I made a passion flower it's true I a stylus would probably be helpful Now I'm trying to do a little, a little rat head. Let's see, they've got little, little eyes there, little ears there. So here, ear. And then a little, Little cheeks. Oh yeah, the cheeks, the cheeks fix it. The cheeks make it make it obvious. Good, good. Little little rat friend. Oh, where's my other? There's my other tool. Like I only have two. <laughs> As if those are the only ones. These are the important ones. And then they have little hands. Hips. And a 
I need more of a more of a curled shape. Kind of miss music, but <laughs> just like, oh, there's no music playing in my headphones. This clay, this is the stoneware, uh, I want to say C or 1C, I don't know. It's, um, it's a sort of a reddish buff. A reddish, a reddish sandy color. At least I think it's the one C. It could be just recycled clay. But I'm pretty sure it's the clay that's left over from the, uh, from the sheep teapot. Pretty sure. In which case, it will fire to a nice reddish buff, um, similar to, similar to, let's see if I can get second camera to see it. Second camera, well, similar to the clay bottom of this, but a little bit, um, well, one smoother, but also a little bit pinker. Um, it has a really nice um, consistency, so it's one of my one of my preferred. Maybe cooler day, but it's still pretty dry. Just gonna 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 re wet my rat. So, it has a nice, has a nice color to it. Oh, Yuki. <laughs> The head is a little small for the body. He's a little chunky. That's okay. I'm sure, I'm sure he'll manage. He's had too many treats. I have lost something. What? Wait, when did... Oh, um, sorry. It's been in there for a little while. I did a, I did a stint of putting, putting older, um, older prints that had been in my Etsy shop before I closed that. Um, into, back into my, uh, into my website shop. So yeah, the uh, the constructivist robot posters are available for sale in my shop. 
we've talked about those before at one point or other. I think when I was illustrating music bot and pointing out that actually I once drew a lot of robots. Doing a little, little rat mouth. That was a lot of caps. Oh. So, so hey, it's uh, there's there's still a shop. I still I still have things in it. You can still even buy pottery. There's not much left, but there's there's some. From from before from the before times. Specifically, there is a goldfinch mug, a flower mug, and ah, and an oxalotl. There's still an oxalotl. Everyone everyone prefers their oxalotls to be leucistic and albino, and uh, and did not did not like the the wild the wild one. And if they're not careful, I'm just going to keep him. <laughs> then he'll be mine forever. I always mean to make more bird mugs. And then, then I don't make mug bases. Or I do make mug bases and then I don't use them. And they get too dry. Just getting to the point where we get to do details. Little nose. Oh, let's see what's the best way to do a little nose here. It's a little bit big, but it's a start. Because they've, they've got, back to this, they've got kind of a, a little, little U shape going on. And then. Kind of nose like underneath that. Oh, where's my where's my tiny paintbrush? There's my tiny paintbrush. When you need to soften some details. Tiny paintbrush. Good morning, they might be scientists. Um, so yeah, the answer to the previous question, why was Shep not informed? Uh, because I'm bad at self-promotion and don't tell people when I do things. <laughs> That's the truth of the matter. Is that I just quietly add stuff to the shop and then I'm like, cool, that's done. Surely someone will notice. Which I recognize is not uh not the best way to go about selling things. I need 
tab geese mailed to you. That would be a mistake. For the geese. Because uh, they would have nowhere to live. Then I would have geese that would have to find a home. Although, up in the hills I have walked past someone's house with a tiny pond in the yard and like a pet duck following them around and splashing in the pond. Okay, I was looking up a little bit. So I guess what I've proven is that geese are probably legal, but that I have nowhere to put them. I don't have a yard. You can't send me livestock. You're too responsible for that. It's an empty, it's an empty threat. But hey, I have a shop. It's on my website. Yep, sarahwithtea.com slash shop. Everything is Sarah with tea because at one point I was like, I may as well just lean into a brand and name everything the same. So I went through and unified everything. But I am not good at self-promotion. Or talking about my work in general. Like, I'm bad enough at it that I, I, I had Shep write my website bio. Because, uh, because they were, <laughs> because they were sad about, about me at like five in the morning being like, I can't write this. I don't understand why it's so hard. Oh dear. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's that's a lot too many. It's a lot too many quail. Oh, phone. No, I let the I wasn't paying attention in the phone. The phone turned itself off. Oh no. It's okay. We're getting there. Need, need sharp thing. Sharp thing. So yeah, I promise one day we're going to have like bases done and we're going to either do the big sculpture project or the, the fraud. We're going to do something exciting eventually. The weather just super did not cooperate this week. Like, it's still kind of sunny and dry, and it's a little bit frustrating just to, uh, just to try and sculpt as it is. That's better. Those feeds are better. It's true. If 2020's only problem was too many quail, I feel that we could just... We could just manage. It'd be fine. We could... We could just... You could just handle it. If we, uh, if we had already managed to solve a pandemic and uh, systemic racial violence, I feel like we could, we could take whatever else, whatever else happens, really, pretty much in stride.
Just look if there's an option. I, I say we take the baby quail option. I don't know who was doing the choosing for us, but uh, but I prefer I prefer baby quail to pandemics. What can I say? And my cat is mad, and I don't know why. <laughs> but if you can hear cat meowing, it's because my cat is marching around the house, meowing. For one reason or another. Most, most baby things. I mean, yeah. He, he would. He would love, he would love 200 baby quail, but he cannot have them. In fairness, I don't know that he would know what to do with them once he had them. He's never been, um, good at cat. He's... He's never been, uh, been a mighty hunter. He's not even really great at catching moths. All right, there we go. Better feet. That seems like that seems like a, my, my roommate says that it's complaining because she's not wearing she's not wearing the comfy lounge pants, um, and by comfy I mean the ones that he likes, which I feel is not a reason to scream at the house. But I don't know, cats. I wonder what he thinks will happen. Maybe he, maybe one day he thinks you'll get up and change. If only he can communicate clearly. Something will happen. I mean, most, most of the way there. Um, now we just need ears and a tail. Just dip these little feet in the water. So I want them to have little toes, but they're already drying out. So sit on that, sit on that sponge. While I attempt to get my, there's the photo, photo back. Dipping, yes, dipping, dipping little toes in water. Rat on a sponge. Because we need to make little ears and a little tail. Let's see. I say little ears. I mean, actually kind of big ears. I think what I'll do is I'll try to get the shape and then I'll hollow them out later. 
because it's going to be kind of tricky. Because they've got sort of specific ears. Like there's a nice little it's a little bit that's eh, a little bit too big. But there is a nice there's a nice shape to uh to the curve of the ears. That I want to get right. More down there. Good. Teeny tiny ears. Yeah, no, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get tiny, tiny rat, tiny rat hands. Had a at this scale, although we'll see. I'm gonna fiddle with it. There's some possibility. I mean, I'm not a fan of having my food stolen by anything, but um, but I don't I don't really mind wild wild mice or rats. I am largely too like nice to ever put traps out. Because the first time I see them like playing or, or being happy or like together as a group, I, I start to feel guilty. <laughs> Because they're so cute and happy. Let me play. I dig holes in all of my potted plants and it makes me mad. <laughs> to get this attached properly. Oh no, it's coming up. Oh. Will solve no no phone. Keep showing me the photo of the rat. Gotta, gotta do more details. Oh, I'm so used to music by the silence is weird. <laughs> the silence is weird. All right, little. Little rat ears. If they're a bit big, they'll get sort of trimmed later. Oh, 
when they're just a little bit sturdier. Although I will do a bit of shaping before then. And let's see. Oh yeah, that's actually been a a weird problem recently. Is uh wildlife in particular city rodents who have been uh, essentially depending on on our trash bins no longer have a source of food because so many places just aren't putting out trash because they've closed. It's uh, apparently they're becoming like slightly desperate and violent in places. Because we kind of don't think about it but there's not a natural food source, really. They're they're living there. I mean, like in some in some sort of suburban areas, or certainly in California, there's fruit trees and that kind of thing. But but in a city landscape, they're living off of you. Like they're completely. You can't be mad about it. They're living entirely on. On your waste products. Yeah, I think that I think that in general suburban uh trash supplies have stayed the same. So there's that. Um but urban urban especially business heavy landscapes have definitely changed. I mean, you say you don't have any food going out in your trash, but is that true? Like, how about the snack yogurt from lunchtime or, you know, the crackers that somebody didn't eat? Like, there's still some, generally, incidental food waste. All right, little ears, little mouth, little nose. Oh, oh, it's time to get it's time to get clay on the on the mouse as I focus scroll. Back down, refocus. Oh, too far. There we go. Um, I think probably her, because if it was a uh, intact him, you'd know. <laughs> um, he could be. He could be. 
could be fixed. Could have he could have a a good pet owner. But probably, probably her. We'll see. Um, yes, vets do neuter and spay rats. Um, it's hard to find one that will, but it's... Uh, at least within the rescue community, it's it's pretty standard to get done. Um, certainly, certainly um, with with the males, because they can can have some issues. Um, but no, it's you, not a, not like cats. There's no, there's no uh, catch and release, spay and neuter of 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 rodents. Um, that would be silly. Hello, octopus gallery. Welcome, welcome to uh. All my planning failed and now I'm just making stuff that people told me to make in chat. The first thing being a rat because it felt like a good warm up. I said I was going to try and make it at the speed of quail, which was, uh, which was just, it was just hubris. I feel, I feel it's worth, it's worth admitting at this point that it was, uh, that it was hubris. Although I'm really pleased to discover that Canvas, um, actually makes really good rat tail texture it gets surprisingly it's a surprisingly good you can't oh you can't see it i need to hang on see if i can show you because it's those familiar canvas actually makes a really good texture for rat tails so that's neat Oh, tiny sliver of bright sunlight. Well, have fun at D&D, Otenshi 3. I'm going to put a tail. A tail on this rat. It might be, might be slightly too long a tail. How are we? I mean, they're what, like the length of the... The length again of the body, so maybe more like that, maybe more like that, just taper that a little bit there. So that's, yes, that's a, uh, ah, good. Well. I'm excited about this texture. What a happy coincidence. How fun. How fun to accidentally run into the perfect, the perfect tool and have it be your table. Now let's make sure this is really well attached. Eh. Use the use the dental tool. I 
So I want to make sure it's well attached without losing, well I can lose a little bit of the texture, the, the, the very top of the tail is still a little bit furry. In fact, I think what I actually need to do is add a little coil around the top to make sure that it's really well attached. I don't know why my voice went high, but it did. These things happen. Okay. Hey. Stuck to my fingers. Meow. Become part of this one. Let's get some clay on my mug. Oh, lukewarm tea. So this is about done. I'm gonna do, gonna sort of locate the eyes. Um, and sort of hint, draw, draw lines anyway, hint at toes. After I, after I get this tail on. There we go. I think what I might do, see if it works. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna just, because the body is getting a little bit firm, I think to go with the tail, I'm going to try to add a little bit of texture. Might not might not work as well. But oh, you know what I need? I need the I need the plastic brush I was using for the bats. Well, maybe this will work. So if you if you aren't my patron, um, the finished you've missed the probably the close ups of finished bats, but I I, I stole I stole a kitchen cleaning brush because uh, apparently what I do is take stuff from my kitchen and and use it in the studio. Um, I stole a kitchen cleaning brush to give like fur texture to the bats. Um, and it worked really well. This brush is not working as well as I would have hoped. Perhaps I will come back later with the scrub brush. I mean, it's better than nothing. It's undoing sort of the shiny, perfectly smooth quality that isn't great for furry little animals. Okay, I know, Tail. I know. I'm. You're. You're stressed. You're stressed and you're cracking. I know. I'll stop. I'll stop picking you up. Soon. Nearly there. I wanna. Just. Bend down. I'm sorry, Tail, I know. Just bear with me. Life is hard. Good. Feet. And... There you go, Tail. Just be supported. And let's see, eyes. I want to get those in the right place, which means I kn I know I know phone. I'm covered in clay, and it's not gonna it's not gonna help. Okay, there we go. <laughs> just hang just hang in there. So it's actually kind of forward and like there it's 
sort of big cartoon eyes, but what can you do? Draw them in freehand? I mean, sure, if that's... Is that... No, tail. Behave. trying to make them in the same place. Okay, for now, for now that's what we're going with. Anime eyes, yes. Um, Later, later I can add detail. But for now, I want the tail to stop. Stop worrying me. So I'm going to put you on something. But what? But what? Oh, this piece of Plexiglass is convenient. Good. Look at that. Piece of plexiglass. And and strip of plastic. Just surround you in plastic. And we'll, I say we, I will add details later. And you won't get to see them unless you're on my Patreon. That's my plug to prevent me from being sent, I guess, 200 quail or chickens. Um, I guess that's, that's the threat. So, that's, we've done that. 4.30, I think, because I am out of tea, I will take a very short break to um, make some tea, tidy up just a little bit, wash my hands. And when I come back, we'll do um, Sh Ox Shetland Pony Unicorn. Who knows? Apparently this is a pottery request stream. Um, I promise someday, someday, we're actually going to do a big complicated set of things that involves pre-planning and slab building. I promise. <laughs> but uh, this is not that weather. It turns out this is uh, this is the wrong weather for pottery. It needs to rain or something. I mean, it won't. It won't rain. But it, it you know, cool off. Fog. I missed the fog. What happened to the fog? It's it's June. Where is the fog? And I will be back really soon. Um, argue about whether it's an ox or a unicorn while I'm gone. Or name the rat. Um, that would be fine too. I will be back very soon. Break time banner. Oh, break time banner and mute the audio. See you in a few minutes.
I'm back. I see, I see we've, we've, we've gone for Lady Snuffin Poof. Um, if Lady Snuffin Poof is the third, then what, then you're going to need to tell me about the, uh, the first two. just uh it's just the rule and that's now that i'm thinking about it yeah that's interesting women women have the same name through generations but don't but aren't junior or that that's so mm, the patriarchy you guys the patriarchy <laughs> so here we are back again Um, two lumps of clay. I have some tea. I, I see the chat has, has made no decision about the, uh, about the what to sculpt part. Um, so. Both the things that have been requested are complicated and difficult because of course they are. So I am going to look for, wait, wait, slight, slight unicorn leanings. Okay. I'm going to open some reference. on my computer this time, ideally. Shetland. That is not how Shetland is spelled. There we go. Lying down. It has to be lying down because legs. Because, oh my gosh, legs. Legs, y'all. Such a problem. Well, look, here's here's a Copenhagen royal figurine of a Shetland pony laying down. Someone has already done this in ceramic. Gasp. Oh, when they're laying down, they just look sad. Well, that one's okay. That will, that will do. Where's, let's get chat back here. Okay, we've got, uh, we've got unicorn, feel free to request, but feel free to request something simpler. Um, unicorn, uh, ox, uh, we got, it's kind of tied, because I'm just going to assume that the chef wants ox because that was her idea. Uh, so so what's happened is so I've got a Shetland pony open. So so we're going to start with that. Um, and see and see where it takes us. Oh no, they might be scientists. I'm sorry. Yes, you were. You were gone. But also, I mean. I mean, Chef is also gone, so technically. Technically, you're still outvoted. I'm standing on the rim of my stool, and it's super dangerous because my stool has wheels, and if I fall and break everything. Um. Know that I loved you. There we go. Sitting back down. Everything is safe, I swear. So. I feel
feel like we're going to do kind of a small kind of figurine like pony unicorn. Right, that is fair, they might be scientists. But here's a question. If it's between cattle, goats, and sheep, what is your vote? I did not fall, everything is fine. Um, really what I was doing was giving you the little voice my brain gives me. It's like, mm, maybe don't do that, it's dangerous. And then that I ignore for some reason, um, you know. That, that little voice. How am I gonna do, how am I gonna do this? How am, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna start, I'm just gonna start sculpting and see what happens. I'll just, I'll just add clay on. How are, so there's a leg there, and there's a leg that comes on here. Hip. No, nope, needs to be needs to be longer. Shoulder there. Leg that's here. That's better. <laughs> that's right I'm asking they might be scientists they might be scientists says that's an unfair question you know I love them all equally and I'm like yeah I'm basically asking you to pick your favorite child <laughs> um I know it's, it's cruel it's cruel and unfair so I'm just gonna Gonna do kind of an additive an additive system here. Where where I stick bits on where I feel where I feel they go. That's Leg. Um. I can't promise how successful this unicorn will be, you guys. But we're but we're gonna but we're gonna give it a we're gonna give it a try. Oh, and I ripped the leg right off. That means it's not well attached. Oh no, see you later, Arcraft. Um we'll we'll tell you about the cutting edge sheep science um later. Don't worry. I'm sure it will come up again. Oh no, I'm sorry you don't feel well. I hope that I hope that you feel better when you get up. Get some more sleep. Uh 
I I took I took your request for a for a fat pony unicorn like real seriously. This is this is quite the fat pony unicorn so far. <laughs> it's true there is no shortage of sleep of sleep meh, sleep science sheep science. No, no shortage of sheep science here. We are all about that, that sheep science. Yeah, I don't know why I've just stopped talking. Just like, no, oh, well, no, now it's it's time to think about think about how unicorn butts work. Can't do that and talk at the same time. I mean, I guess maybe you could, but. It's just a, just a blob with a single, a single leg. Just one, one leg. Okay. Now let's, now let's give it a second leg. I need to add some, uh. Add some withers here. And then shoulder, chest, and leg area here. Uh Goat unicorn, pony unicorn. Yeah, it's it's this one's a little bit more pony unicorn than 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 goat. I admit we're we're a little bit more uh, a little bit more horse than goat for this unicorn. Purely by virtue of being asked to make a fat to make a fat unicorn, <laughs> but also. I mean, there's room, there's room for it to be, for it to be both, to have the features of, oh dear, how have, <laughs> what have I done? Where, well, we'll figure it out in a second. Just add, just add volume and then worry about it later. always take clay away after all see you later Cascadia studio thanks for coming um, I've also covered the uh, I've covered the OBS uh, stuff with with Shetland Pony reference on my laptop because I got sick of my phone trying and failing to stay on. Uh, in fact, I can put my phone out of it. So if um, so if I I drift off camera or something, like hard hard away from the actual stream, uh, shout at me. I have a general idea of where the camera is pointing because I set it up, but it's easy to just kind of accidentally wander away when it's not there when I glance at chat because when I glance at chat I can kind of see where 
where my my current working is in relation to the camera. And gauge how well I am on screen. Let's draw some lines. I need you to be like that, and then like that. There. And then there's your little your little pony shoulder, so let's push that downwards. Now back. Pony shape. I did such a good job of making the other one already hoof shaped. I failed at this one. I need it to be angled flat on the bottom. That's better. I might need a smaller flat thing. Thinner is what I'm going. Ah, palette knife. I don't know why you're here um, with the sculpting tools, but good. The first time ever you're gonna do a new job. So yes, very, very fat, very fat pony unicorn. Giving, making sure that the hooves are clear and then, you know, some, some fluff. And we need to define that bit a little bit more. I mean, so far, so far, surprisingly, surprisingly successful, a, a squishy pony shape. Not too bad. <laughs> surprisingly, as if, like, I started a thing being like, no, this is impossible. What madness is this? I did not. I did not actually believe that. I did not decide to make a thing I didn't think would be doable. That would be silly. Although possibly exciting, exciting stream content. I don't know. Is failure, is failure fun to watch? Cause I kind of feel like it's not, I don't know. I feel like experimentation and like trying something can be fun to watch, but I feel like actually just having it not work is kind of a letdown. It's true. I do, I do like my, my spindly, my spindly mule deer based unicorns, but sometimes just, sometimes life just needs a fat pony, you know, sometimes. Sometimes you just need a fat, sassy pony. My, uh, my childhood self would be so proud of me right now. Just so proud. Because, uh, the ultimate goal was always to be able to sculpt a horse. That was the pinnacle of all available skills. I was, I was 
I was indeed horse obsessed. I was a I was a horse girl. I I launched multiple campaigns to attempt to convince my family that we needed a horse. None of them were successful. In hindsight, as an adult, that was the best call. <laughs> but uh But I'm also like one of those people who sort of problem solves things. So if I wanted something, I would invent like a really like complicated plan for why it would work. Uh, I had a really, a really great friend growing up who had horses. So I did get to ride. And as an adult with a cat, I feel like horse care sounds very hard. So much work. Maybe when I retire. So is the artist who's self-employed. Yeah, it feels, it feels like, it feels like, uh, it feels like possibly I like them, as it turns out, more from over here. Oh, they might be scientists was also like that regarding the planning. Yeah, so I once, this is a good story, um, I once decided that what I wanted was an iguana. Um, and I was the kind of kid who would deeply research the, the animal like I didn't just I wasn't the kid who was like I want that it's cute I was like no I've now read two books on iguanas and I know everything about them I used to know goldfish diseases like I was that kid and uh and I put together a, like a serious pitch for how we could turn the like storage crawl space underneath a flight of stairs into a full-scale iguana enclosure like just lighting and everything it was the best plan uh, my parents didn't agree that it was the best plan <laughs> there was no there was no iguana enclosure that happened but oh boy did I did I put thought and effort into that yes sir I was I was all in. Trying to anticipate the arguments against it and like having solutions for them, you know? It's like, well, they get so big. Well, that's fine. It will fit into this very large space. <laughs> Where will we put the stuff that's in there now? Well, in the garage, of course. Everything will be fine. This plan will work. Uh, also, no longer want an iguana. Although I think at the time I would have, I would have enjoyed the iguana. I don't think I would have, you know, I don't think it would have been a huge mistake. Um, I mean, I think maybe they wanted to use the crawl space for what it was being used for. But, uh, but other than that, I think it would have been fine. Yeah, I did not live on a farm. I think the best way to describe the place that I grew up is farm adjacent. Fat, fat pony, fat pony neck.
you know, farm, farm adjacent, you know. Um, you aren't on a farm, but like people around you were on farms. Yeah, like I said, you know, when I retire <laughs> from my self-employed art career, It'll be, it'll be great. I won't actually, it's not, because I'm never gonna retire. Um, because when I retire, I'll just be one of those people that has like a rural pottery studio. It makes YouTube videos about complicated firing methods. That's, that's buying, that's my retirement. see um, eh. Eh. still too much oh man that's the kind of argument I would have made as a child unicorn duke um, I would have done the math and been like his upkeep it was cheaper than riding lessons that's that's a thing that I would have tried. Um, if I'd thought of it. I did not think of it. Did not occur to me to take that to take that tactic. That's a solid tactic. There we go. That seems that seems pretty good. Just curve it some. Yeah, how do we <laughs> How do we start? How do we start on my on my my secret horse girl past? What happened there? Fat ponies. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. My my childhood self would be so excited to know that I could make a ceramic pony. You know, just the important life skills. In fairness, I suspect that the childhood Sarah would also already be criticizing the confirmation of this clay pony. So I don't know. Yeah, that's that's another thing. Uh horses uh horses are complicated. They're complicated creatures. Like rabbits, they have a digestive system that can kill them. And that's just not that's just not cool. Yeah, as might as they might be scientists says. 
like like rabbits, uh, horses have a digestive system that's just like prepared to, prepared to murder them. Which, hey, by the way, if you keep rabbits, there's a thing you should know. Uh, rabbits die so easily from digestive issues. I cannot imagine how evolution allowed that to happen. It seems like a mistake. Like just, just generally. Just generally seems like a, like a flaw, like a design flaw, if you will. Ruminant, ruminant troubleshooting. Um, yeah, rabbits are charming, adorable little animals that are the most fragile things I've ever seen. Like, just super, super fragile. So many things can go horrifyingly wrong. And, like, not be your fault. It's like if your kid ate Cheerios wrong and then there was nothing you could do. It just, that happened now. It's, oh, it's not, it's not great. So, you know. So, if you follow um, Ursula Vernon, and Auntie Shepherd on Twitter, and uh, you've seen the uh, the the horses slash ponies referred to as as giant rabbits. Now you know the dark truth behind that. As it turns out. They are, in fact, giant rabbits. For real. Okay, I have to do a pony head. Let's... Let's see. See if Sarah can do a pony head. So I hope we've all learned something today. <laughs> hope that uh I hope that you now don't want to own a horse and uh and will be gentle with rabbits. <laughs> That's not fair. Horses are great. Um, and so are rabbits. But personally, I prefer this cat who uh, routinely eats and throws up small plastic strips. <laughs> Because he's sturdy. An idiot, but sturdy. A sturdy idiot. It's, it's very, it's very reassuring. I'm just slicing off levels of neck here. There we go.
so there is a space for the head. There's, how did I, ah, there's the bottom. Oh yeah, please do tell me something fun about cats. Sure, sure, ruin, ruin it, ruin it for me. Now my cat is screaming at me from the other room. I don't know. I'm sorry I brought you up. <laughs> Just walking past me crying. Nice. Oh no, cat digestion. In fairness, this particular cat has been to a nutrition specialist at UC Davis. So, not about eating plastic. That's, that's his own special issue. Uh, All right, let's learn about cats. They might be scientists, says. When I teach biochem, I have to go, this is how it works except in cats. They have extra essential amino acids and they've lost the ability to make certain fats. Cats basically have evolved to be on a no carb diet so they burn protein for glucose. Cats and cows both evolved to make glucose from non-glucose things. Yeah, I was, I have, I have learned that cats are uh, not really able to to digest things that are not are not meat. That they basically only digest protein. So that's fun. Ferrets. Jack, why are you crying? At, at the closed door. Open door? The corner? I don't know. Just facing away from everyone crying. <laughs> today, today I learned. That cats and rabbits are weird. <laughs> Cats, rabbits, and horses. Right. Let's see. Nope, nope, nope. Mouth. Nose. Mm. This is where the eye goes. Transverses go. Come here. Come here and stop crying. Yeah, I'm covered in clay. Now I'm petting my cat. I apologize for the pause. He was offended by my clay hands. And now he is... I'm going to get in my office chair and keep crying. Ah, <sighs> cats. <laughs> Jack's still hoping for baby quail. Yes, that's fair. I don't, yeah, no, your cat... Your cat has to eat meat. It absolutely has to eat meat. If you uh, if you try to make your cat vegan, you will kill your cat. 
please don't. Please don't. Yeah, I know. Well, my roommate's right there. She could be petting Jack. Um, but now he's sulking in my office chair. Because <laughs> apparently I'm not paying attention to him. Oh no, I dropped, I dropped my pony. I'll fix that. Little pony face. Around. corner there. Try to Oh. Ah, uh, yes, it's in 3D. I have to do both sides. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what would, what would, the only thing that I can imagine that would possess someone to, like, attempt to, to make their, their cat be vegan is, like, ignorance, like, they just didn't, they didn't realize, because, I mean, a lot of cat food has some, some bullshit in it, sorry, but, like, Cat doesn't really need like grandma's chicken soup with carrots and peas. Just doesn't. It's not necessary. That's to make you feel good. <laughs> it's not for your cat. Pete, there are vegan cat food manufacturers. What? Why? <laughs> Why is this a thing? But science, <laughs> I say sadly, but science is like the, the sad rallying cry of 2020. But the research we've done it. Oh no. Um do you, I get just freeze dried I've I've been told in the past that I should read what I'm replying to. There might be scientists as uh, shopping for treats that that they can feed their cat without making their celiac self sick it is interesting. Um but I I get um just freeze dried freeze dried fish. Um freeze dried freeze dried salmon chips. And those, uh, those are very popular with my cat. Because, yeah, the thing about, the thing I learned, the thing I learned when I went to a nutritionist at a university is that most dry cat food, by its very nature, contains a lot of gluten. Because that's just how they make it into a little, a little crunchy bit.
And now my cat is old and a little bit of a jerk and basically will only eat tuna and mackerel canned food. That's it. That's, that's the choice he has made. He feels that I should stick to it. But yeah, he only eats canned food because uh, he was sick when he was a little guy. Now he is a relatively healthy old man. All right, we're getting there. I'll be honest, the one, my, my, my late other cat, um, the one human food that she wanted to steal was basically Cheetos. <laughs> So that, that makes sense, because she had to start eating only wet food as well when, uh, when her problem brother got sick, so she probably never totally forgave me. Oh. Everyone, your goal is that before Monday, before Monday work day stream, you have to find me a video of a ferret going nuts for a McDonald's fry. <laughs> That's your quest if you choose to accept it. If you're if you're prepared, if you're prepared to accept this this important important adventure. I Choir video proof of fry ferrets. Oh, no, oh, don't make ferrets sick. That's sad. Never mind. Be kind to your ferrets, only feed them what is good for them. And the occasional thing that is like a slightly unhealthy dessert. I don't know what ferret dessert is. Ah, I've I've solved I've solved the problem of this pony that was bothering me. I figured out I figured out what it was. that connection there that needed to be more like that no it's it's that's not that is that is not what you don't have to apologize they might be scientists um, but that is the way bad violet vi um, sorry I don't know why I've lost the ability to phrase words that is how bad viral videos start Please always defend the rights of animals to not uh, to not be accidentally harmed because people think it's cute on the internet. That is an important thing to do. The other side to match. Oh, 
I think ferrets are actually illegal in California, so we don't know. Um, I've never met a ferret. And have no ferret specific knowledge. So if my ferret knowledge is incorrect, it should be corrected. I'll just be here with my fat pony. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Ferrets, hedgehogs, a couple of other species that uh, that we consider would be invasive and problematic if they were released. And nobody wants that, so so you can't keep them as pets. Our fat pony is getting there. Pretty. I did not know that gerbils weren't banned in California. That uh, that explains why I haven't seen a gerbil in a long time. <laughs> I see. Did not occur to me. But it kind of makes sense. Especially in drier desert California places, they would compete with with local. Oh, what's it? Um the the little the little guys that make nests in the the dry brush in the desert. Pack rats, there we go. Can't figure out why I lost the phrase pack rat. <laughs> but, but it did. Don't worry, I found it again. So much learning today. Today is an educational stream day. Which I bet is not what you anticipated when you said, let's make a fat unicorn. <laughs> oh yeah, ferrets can be excellent pest control. They're small, they're small and noodly. They can fit in places. Let's see, stuff that needs adding. I just need to add some clay here to suggest the other leg. The other folded up back leg here. Of our of our lounging of our lounging fat pony unicorn our fat pony unicorn yeah it just uh just sent us down a whole rabbit hole if you will. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah, I see what I did there, yeah. 
Oh dear. And then I need the other, the other folded, folded up leg on this side. Sort of there. Yes, good. Excellent. Just get that better attached. Where it's sort of folded under. All right. Most of a unicorn pony here. I'm going to put the ears on pretty late in this adventure because Because then I'll just squish them constantly otherwise, so. So they can wait. Let's see. Jaw. Jawline. Kind of. Shaping. I need, what do I need? This one. Just shaping. Shaping unicorn pony face. So this there, and then there's that bone there. Eye goes kind of there. Need a little bit of of clay added to the to the eye slash brow area, I think. on both sides. How are we doing? It's 5.30. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Plenty of time. Plenty of time to work on pony unicorn face. Ooh, you know what would be fun to sculpt? And I say fun, horrible to sculpt, but like glorious to have as a sculpture <laughs> is the, uh, is the, the weasel, the ball of weasels. The the misunderstood request where uh, Hannah Comb was talking about like a, a, a pet toy and I drew a literal ball of weasels.
that would be a fun sculpture. And a fiddly, horrifying one to actually make. But, <clears throat> excuse me. But, uh, but a fun thing to exist. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Yes, the ball of weasels. Remember the ball of weasels? My tea has gone lukewarm again. <sighs> oh, well. Yeah, how would it, the ball of weasels would be a problem. It's a I feel like what you would do is make make a hollow circle form and then sculpt on and cut out to get your to get your ball of weasels. Where's mouth and this Yep, that was that was the right the right angle to do that at. There we go. Pony mouth. Unicorn pony? Are we, we're just called a unicorn. Unicorn mouth. <laughs> Although I guess until it has a horn. It's a pony. Because that is the distinction. Ah, uh, good old, good old Paula Weasels. The, uh, the horse girl in me is tempted to leave this a pony. Oh no! Ah, fingernails. Why? Should have trimmed them. Taking, taking bits out. Oh, that's gonna require some fiddly repairs. Fingernails are dangerous. So problematic. <laughs> it's true. It's I'm not. I'm not actually gonna. I'm not actually gonna abandon our unicorn aspirations. It's just the temptation is there. Oh, pony face shapes. There's a line there. A 
And then there's that. Goes in here. Line there. And sort of, oops, that was a little bit deep sort of bone there. Pony face shapes. Now I feel like detail is never as good on video. I feel like it's hard for you guys to see. <clears throat> Excuse me. See the little, the little fiddly things I'm working with. Maybe. Let me check. Let me check the video. Maybe if I work a little bit higher. Eh. This was a mistake. I'm using my right hand with the mouse all the way across the other side. Maybe there. If I work up here, it's easier to see. That might help. We'll, we'll try that. Oh no, chat, where did you go? Come back. There you are. Try and work. Try and work closer to the camera. Maybe that will help. Well, thank you, Unicorn Duke. I am pretty, I am pretty pleased. I'm pretty pleased with the pony. So far. Eye a little low. Feels like the eye is a little low. Curses. I have to do it again. Now let's see. Your eye. Nope. Ah. Uh. So if that's. That's actually probably closer to correct. Yeah, a little bit more this way. A little bit more. Huh? That that looks that looks better. I'm I'm accepting. I'm accepting that. Ah, uh, small small giant rabbit. Okay. Let's do all of that, all of that fiddly, fiddly stuff again. Oh, quiet towards the end of stream, working on the hard parts. <laughs> of, of a small horse. Small, 
small giant rabbit horse unicorn pony friend Partly it's because I kind of have to control my breathing to keep the pressure absolutely right on something that small. Oh, there we go. I want to see if I, there we go, that's a little bit more like it. Horses have a tendency to have a slightly worried looking brow for no particular reason. Cute clicky horse game. Oh, is that um one of those one of those uh those silly mobile games. Well, I've uh, for someone for someone who just who just drew lines for hooves, I've gone I've gone all in on 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 the face here. I feel like I feel like possibly I've got co I've got two conflicting styles going on now. may have to go back later and uh, add some body detail. just to try and justify the detail I have put into this face. Okay, other side. I know it's not been that long, but thank you past self for putting a, a little flattened area where the, uh, where the nostril went. On both sides. That was very helpful to Sarah of just this moment. <laughs> uh, one side, the other side. It's okay. There's a process. It's overly complicated. It requires that I be quiet. I don't know that it requires that I be quiet. It's just what happens. But it's fine because I feel like everyone has is 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 going to download the uh, the horse mobile game. I feel like I feel like there is sufficient distraction. <laughs>
while I silently work on horse eyelids. This is, oh no, crap. This is how I did the goose eyes, by the way. Or how does it go? Ah. Yes. And then that bit. I feel like I'm a little bit off. No. No, it's just me. Seems fine. Seems fine. We'll pay whatever dollars needed to get this fat unicorn when it's done, says Unicorn Duke, which, based on the username alone, seems fair. Um, I don't know. We should probably codify this. I don't know. It's sort of an unspoken rule um, that if I'm doing something live, someone watching can call dibs. I don't know. It's just It's just a thing that we've sort of allowed to happen. Um... Uh, seems fair that element of like if if you voted for it and it happened you get first refusal I guess I don't know feels like maybe there should be rules but but eh <laughs> We're all we're all adults. We can work out amongst ourselves, right? I say we're all adults. Maybe we're not all adults. I do say that I keep this children friendly. Um, but if you're not an adult, you probably can't buy pottery without your parents' permission. So, so ask them first. So ask them first, but you can still take part in the in the calling in the calling of dibs. But uh, yeah, we kind of we we've kind of built in a, a, an interesting an interesting sort of unspoken understanding that uh, that if you're watching it be made, you can be like that's mine. Heard that Gen Z makes fun of the term adulting. That the generation of Z. Has no has no time for has no time for those complaints. As as a as a, a 
basically a middle-aged person. Um, you don't feel like an adult a lot of the time, and then you meet someone who's like 18, and you're like, oh, right. I didn't notice, but you change a lot. I am an adult, after all. I was an adult the whole time. Turns out the adult was inside us all along. Just viewing various angles here. Right. I think it's time to add some main tail and ears. I think fat, fat unicorn pony is about to be an actual unicorn. <laughs> the adults we made along the way. Yes. Yes, Unicorn Duke, the adults we made along the way. Ah, yes, this is good. This is solid college advice, actually, from, uh, from They Might Be Scientist, who says, um, I told her that if she has pro a professor she really gets along with, their advice on classes and which professors to work with and avoid is usually better than the official advisor. Is, uh, is really good advice for college and grad school. But college, because by then I think you've probably figured that out. But yeah. Um, just because someone has been assigned a position of authority does not mean they will give you better advice than someone who actually understands you, knows your goals, and your personality. Yeah, it's 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 better that way. All right. So what we need, what we need is is fluffy pony mane. So I'm just going to kind of oops. I feel like I've gone out of focus cuz I've gone lower. Let's since I'm back down to a different to a different position. Oh yes, yeah, so out of focus. There we go. Yeah. It's the important, the important information. I'm going to try and kind of get some main shape in there already. Yeah, that seems good. Places where hair will go. There. We need some forelock. A little bit of foof. There. Let's see, then this 
some there. On this side, we go down this way. Oh. Damp sponge. I need some clay back here too. Need to uh, to round out his bottom. As it were. Okay. That I think just made a microphone noise and did not do what I wanted it to do. I apologize. Just round out the unicorn bottom a little bit. For when he is sitting on the table. Um, hair, it depends really. Um, It's, it's not actually. There's uh, what's a good way to explain why it's not? Um, hair is stylized already. It's it's a wild, fluffy, flowing, organic shape. So your eye already expects it to be just whatever. You don't have like strong expectations for for a form. You won't look at hair and go, mm, I don't know. It's a little bit it's a little bit wrong in shape. You kind of are prepared to visually accept hair in whatever form. So, um, so actually, hair's not bad because you can, for lack of a better term, fake it. Whatever you say, whatever you decide, it's basically fine. It doesn't create a visual um, a visual issue. The viewer sort of looks at the hair and goes, "Yep, that's that's hair." I mean, there are some tricks to making it look less stiff. There are tricks to sort of how to stylize it. Um, Forming, forming sort of groups. A hair is basically texture as opposed to a form. So whereas I have to kind of make like the shape of the skull right or form a leg properly, hair is just chaos. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter what I choose. Whatever I choose will be correct. And that makes it sort of easier. I mean, I, and different different artists will have different sort of sticking points, different things they're better at or find frustrating. So, so some people may find hair really frustrating. Um, and some people find really really structured, hard, sort of industrial geometric things easy. And I find those hard. 
measuring and building and constructing things precisely is not my forte. I would rather sculpt hair. So yeah, some of it is individual, like, preference, skill set. What you do most often. Where's that? There's the brush. That's what I needed before. Yay! And they might be saying this is getting a tattoo for their birthday this year. So I'll be honest, I think that it's most fun to make art for people who uh, who think art is magic. Um, I mean, I think for obvious reasons, self-serving, but, uh, but who doesn't want to feel like they're magic? <laughs> you know, who doesn't want to... He doesn't want to feel like they're doing something super magical. Creating something from nothing. Such power. But so you can kind of see how it's already, I mean, it's already basically reading his hair. You look at it and you're like, oh yeah. That, that's that's the main. I get it. Good. That makes sense. Sorry, I'm <laughs> back to the I'm back to the bottom. There we go. Just touching up the bottom. Uh -oh. So yeah, I I think care is I think care is pretty easy. Okay, did I put, I did, I did a little bit of, I should do a little bit of that on this side. A little bit of, of scruff. There we go. Um, and I think that probably what I'm going to do is, is keep, is keep the hair pretty rough and textured. Instead of making it like a super smooth, like carefully, carefully drawn on like elegant line because I think what I'll do is I'll go back and do a little bit of like add on texture down here just to kind of pony pony him up a little bit have him be a little bit less fancy sleek unicorn a little bit more a little bit more fat pony Also because there's there's just something specific and nice about the way that clay creates texture when it's sort of torn or scraped. Like there's something very intrinsic about about that particular texture. Not to get all like annoying fine artist on you. But uh but there's something really nice about allowing the nature of the material to show through. Why choose a medium unless you want to do something with that medium specifically, after all? If you're gonna, if you're gonna work in ceramics, there should be a reason um, that you've chosen that. That's a theory anyway. Um, or you could just like it. It doesn't really have to be a reason. But that's the uh, that's the fine art gallery talking point for for how I will explain my choices. <laughs> when someone asks about 
about my fat pony unicorn choices. Uh, which I don't actually anticipate happening. But now it's on video forever and ever. Until the end of the internet. Tidying. There we go. Some, some fat pony mane. Okay. Now let's figure out horn horn goes sort of here. Here, you know what? Is that where does where do unicorn horns go? Oh, don't don't take the whole sculpture off the camera for goodness sake. For goodness sake, Sarah. That is a flycatcher and not the thing that I expected to open. Ah, there we go. Just need a just any unicorn drawing really. Alphabetical order. Sure, the one the, the Witcher one, sure. So kind of between between the eye and the ear. So if the ear is kind of let's actually Let's do ear Yeah, we'll do a little so actually kind of here. Cool. So we'll work around that space. And minimize this. Such a good fat pony. Well, 610. How did that happen? Well, let's go just a little bit, a little bit late, because I want to get. Ears and a horn on here because I want you to see the basically finished fat pony unicorn. Um, the ears will need will need fiddling in the future, obviously, because because pony ears are are small. And pointy. So we can't make them super hollow to start with. But what we can do is try to start with the right sort of shape. So, yeah. yep, so sort of there, just gonna, gonna gauge my scale here. Too, slightly too big. Let's try Let's try and be be clever.
and then sort of like that. See how see how well or poorly trying to be clever goes here. Let's see. Well that's close. Let's let's stick it on and hope for the best. Just, just go for it. No, yeah, you know what? That goes better on this side. Yep. Which means this one needs to go. Oops. on this side. Well, it's, needs some needs some fine tuning, but We can make it work, I think, I think. Just my little, a little rubber nib here. So yeah, we'll do fine tuning later today, but in terms of sort of general ear shape, need to be tweaked a little. This side could probably be a little bit smaller shave it down slightly but in general just smooth some connections out in general yeah there you go ears ears what a nice fat pony um, I mean, I could also do a tail, but I feel like the tail is not as pressing as a, uh, well, I don't, you know what, maybe, well, we'll start, let's, let's, let's start the tail and let's, well, let's do the horn first. I know, that's a mistake. Remember how I said horns are fiddly and terrible? Well, well, they are, and yet. And yet here I am. Choosing, choosing to do that in the wrong order. Are we gonna do horse tail? Or are we gonna do kind of? I think we should do the unicorn, the unicorn-ish tail. And okay, it's gonna be kind of a thick, kind of a thick horn. Cause let's be honest, it's kind of a thick pony. And we want him. We want him to feel to feel balanced. Now, now I'm gonna do something that may be a mistake, but well, maybe 
Maybe it's okay. You know what? I feel okay about it. I feel I feel okay about about my about my twirly about my twirly texture choice. I feel like it, it's it's worked well enough. Now. Just trying to get the right length here. Is that about is that about right? It's a little bit much. Still a little bit much. More like that. Yes, now. Now. Just gonna tidy that up a little bit. Yeah, it needs to be it needs to be an appropriately appropriately chunky horn. Because it's not he's not a he's not a delicate pony. He's a good squishy pony. Now. Now, now, now. Just gonna. Just gonna see if I can make this plan work. I say this plan. It's 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 less plan, more more theory. Theory is sort of that I'm I'm creating a a peg that will fit into yes. So unicorn. Now has a horn. Tidy up around the base. May need to, to add a little bit of clay. Or at least draw some uh, some good fluffy mane there. Now the trick will be to not let that break off. <laughs> so yeah, there's, there's that. Let's, let's do, as I said, I think, I think, uh, I think the goat, the goat style of unicorn, I don't know. I like, I like the sort of lion goat tail thing going on just cause I feel like that's kind of more individual and interesting. Where does the tail attach? Here. Is it? Yes. That's where the tail attaches. Just, I don't know, I think that the, the not horse tail makes it makes it more interesting so going with 
going with not horsetail. And then, you know what, let's, let's conveniently hide <laughs> some of that. Kind of curl that up. Maybe there. There. Yes. Yes. Now that he has a now that he has a horn. Oops. I don't know. I kind of I kind of like. Okay. Maybe farther back. Maybe. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. You know what? Now that I've done that though. Could go the other way. Stakes were made. They can be resolved. Ah, oh, this is the problem when it's dry and warm. Does not it does not like my choices. The clay is mad. That's fine. I have had a better idea. I say that's fine. It's not actually fine. It's it's problematic. I shall work to solve it. Because, because I actually think just add clay to it later. Because I actually think it's better if it goes this way. I actually think it's better to have it go around the back. I think, I think. Let's sort of take a look and see. Yeah, I think that that's... Just, it's going to add going to add more interest to the shape from all angles because I can't forget that this is a 3D creation and not just a drawing where only the view of the person looking at the 2D piece of paper matters. You can pick it up and turn it around. You can look at him from all of the angles. So I should keep that in mind. And make choices accordingly. So I think back there like that. So there's more of a sense of depth and space. Yes, good. So the horn is already slightly crooked. <sighs> because gravity. It'll be fine. I have faith. I say as I accidentally move the tail. <laughs> Right, right there, there, be attached. So, um, I think after I tidy up this connection here, make sure that it doesn't come off again. Um, that feels like, feels like we've, we've got to a point of, of wrapping up. Feel pretty good about how far Unicorn has come. Needs a little bit more work, but not too much. I'm going to try and figure out a way to put plastic over him without 
deforming the horn. <laughs> so I can come back later and finish the tail. And add a little bit of detail to the legs. So I'm going to leave a little leave them a little bit damp. So I want to come back to that. So, <clears throat> excuse me, losing my voice at the end of the stream. That tea was cold. <clears throat> so yeah, we've made we've made ourselves a, a little a little pony unicorn. Seems seems pretty good. Nice little fluffy mane. Ears and a horn. All of the necessary unicorn parts. And then, as a reminder, let's see if I can do this without knocking anything over or breaking anything. Before we did a unicorn, we made a little warm-up rat. Um, who now gets to to share her her plastic. There we go. Nice plexiglass tray, which is bad for drying pottery, but good for keeping pottery damp. Now I've got to rewrap this in plastic, but I'll do that after we're off camera because that seems fair. So thanks for joining me for Friday Tea Time today. Hope that you had fun. As usual, you can, a second camera, can you give a better view? Ah, oh, second camera, you're just, you're just so cheap. <laughs> So inexpensive. Anyway, um, as usual, you can follow me on Twitter. Um, you can join Patreon, where you can get extra secret behind the scenes stuff. Usually patrons get the photos when I add the details, when I finish things up. They get all of the extra fun bits. Oh, and if you uh, still wanted to up your pledge to $10 to get a print, Still time, I did not mail the prints this week because I had an idea that's going to take extra time to make, so I'm going to mail them next week instead. But uh, it's going to be extra special because it's going to be something finished that no one has seen finished before. So, extra bonus for the print patrons. So look forward to that, and I will see you on Monday for Monday stream, 5 to 7. Um, oh yeah, the pat patrons have photos of the of the bisque pottery. Patrons get all kinds of fun stuff behind the scenes. If you're not a patron, you should join. <laughs> it's fun. There, I've self-promoted. That's all the self-promotion I will do. Until the next time I end a stream. That's all I got. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Stay safe out there. See you on Monday. And I'm going to go make dinner. Have a good night. Bye.